Hi, this is Travel Perk, and in this video, we're going to walk through how you would set up an integration between Travel Perk and HiBob. The integration allows our mutual customers to fully automate the user provisioning process from user creation to user offboarding, as well as fully automated features such as cost centers, companies, and approval groups within Travel Perk. You would need to be an administrator in both the Travel Perk platform and the HiBob platform to get the credentials for the integration to work. And we'll start the process in the Travel Perk platform. So by clicking on account settings and then going to the integrations page, and if you scroll down, you'll find the HiBob integration where you can select setup and then enable. Once the pop-up box appears, you'll see the information that has been transferred from HiBob to Travel Perk. Travel Perk has read permissions only for the data listed below, which means it's a one-way flow of data from HiBob to Travel Perk. Nothing is sent from the Travel Perk platform back to HiBob. If I then click continue and followed by next, I'm then asked for the HiBob user ID and HiBob token. So at this point, if I go into the HiBob platform, I would need somebody with administrator access within HiBob as I'd need to obtain the user ID, the client ID in the secret from the integrations tab. So by clicking on the integrations tab, I then click on service users and then manage and then add a new service user which I will call Travel Perk August. I'm just going to copy that and put that into the display name as well. Followed by next. And the ID and the token is then generated. So at this point, I'm going to add those into the field in Travel Perk, which popped up before, but I'm not going to submit the credentials at this stage. The reason for that is I now need to apply the security permissions to the credentials to ensure that Travel Perk has access to all of the required data that it, it needs from the HiBob platform. So at this point, if I then go to permissions groups, what I need to now do is create a permissions group. So I'm going to create a group and I'm going to call it uh, Travel Perk August. I'm going to call it Travel Perk August 1. And then at this stage here, I need to click on select people by condition and I need to then select edit. A one condition will appear already. And at this point, you need to remove that condition that's already appeared. And then you need to find the service user that you just created. So you click on the drop down box there and on the service users that have been created. If I just try pin trial perk August, and this is the service user that I've just created and the client ID and secret um, works against this set of credentials here. So if I click apply and then apply again, and then I'll select create. And this now has created the permissions group, but I still haven't applied the correct permissions to this permissions group. So I now need to click on confirm. And it'll now take me to this page where I can then apply the data. So on the people's data section, I then need to select edit. By selecting edit, the lifestyle status equals it needs to equals hired, employed, and terminated. If I then click apply and then apply again. And then on the people's data section, I need to go to the people's data people and the about section, which you can already see is selected. That needs to have view permissions as well as the address section, which needs to have uh, the view permissions. The basic information we already have. We then need to select the view permissions for employment the view permissions for home, the view permissions for lifecycle, the view and edit permissions for the personal. Don't worry at this stage about selecting the edit for the personal sections. The data that we require for um, one of the fields, which is mandatory for the integration, lives in this edit um, section here. So Travel Perk doesn't have any ability to edit the information in HiBob. We do require permissions for the edit of the data here. On personal contact details, we need to view the selected contact details. And on the work and work contact details as well. So once you have all of that information selected there, if you then press save, then apply. And then I can go back to the travel per platform and now select submit. So what's happening now is the, the integration is configuring between HiBob and travel perk. This normally takes a few moments. And that's now connected the travel per platform to HiBob. So I'm now going to skip for later on this section here. 
And the next stage is we now need to map the map the data field. So by mapping the data fields, this would actually enable us to access the feature which we call companies matching. So this enables our clients to, to allocate the correct users to the relevant entities or as we call them companies within travel perk so in my high bob i believe this field is called employing entity i'm just going to select that there and then save the mapping and i'm going to finish the integration this now takes a few moments to load all the data and apply the configuration so essentially the the data is being transferred from high bob over to travel perk and the final step will then be to finish the configuration within the travel per platform. This process can sometimes take up to an hour, but it largely depends on how many users you have in your Hybel platform. So if you have a large number of users, this process can sometimes take up to an hour. If you have a small number of users, the process usually takes a couple of minutes or so. Now the synchronization has completed, I now need to finalize the configuration within the travel per platform. So the first option I have here is whether I want to sync all employees or whether I want to sync a group of employees. By selecting a group of employees, you'll see the variety of filters that we have that enable you to filter your employees, which could be via lo by location, by cost center, by the entity they belong to, or the employment type. So in, let's say in this scenario here, if I just want to filter employees by my New Zealand, an Australian entity, I can apply that filter there and that'll tell me that only two of my users will be provisioned. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to sync all employees. And then what information should we sync? So syncing full employee data syncs all of the data that we've been given permissions for in HiBob um, to populate those fields in Travel Perk. But you can also select employee detail to sync. So for example, if you only wanted to provide the date of birth, then the gender and the contact number will not be imported as part of the synchronization. And then on the company's matching, by enabling this feature, it means that users will automatically be allocated to the relevant company within Travel Perk. One of the key components to this, for this feature working correctly is that the company names must match exactly the company names um, that are set up within the Hybob platform. So in this case, if I just want to match against uh, Australia and New Zealand entity, I can apply that there and that will mean the relevant users that belong to those entities will automatically be allocated to the correct companies within Travel Perk. And then the next option here is to enable the automatic creation of cost centers. Travel Perk takes the cost center from the department field in HiBob. So whatever is populated in the department field will automatically be synced over into Travel Perk and the cost centers will be created using the department name in Travel Perk. And the final step is the approval process. So Travel Perk can automatically create approval processes based on the line manager or the reports to field in the Hybob platform. This means there's a variety, there's three different options here. The first option is that your line manager will automatically approve all in policy trips, which means that any trip that's out of policy will go for approval, but any in policy trips will automatically be approved. The second option is exactly the same with the exception that the manager will receive a notification that a trip has been booked. And the final option means that all of the, the manually approved all trips, this means that the line manager will have to approve every trip that's booked within the trial per platform, whether it's in policy or out of policy. I'm now going to select save and sync and these configuration, the settings that we've just applied in the configuration will now be applied and the final synchronization will happen. So again, this takes normally a couple of minutes or so to be reflected within the trial per platform. What we also provide is an Everlog, and the Everlog is normally nothing to worry about. The Everlog simply allows you to troubleshoot the reason why certain employees might not be added. This typically means that um, quite often if someone's being removed from your HR platform, but there's still a record of the user 
we might not be pulling them into the, the travel per platform, but it's always worth looking at the Everlog just to understand whether there's people that are not being added to the travel per platform that should be. Finally, I was just going to click onto the people page here. Within the people page, we can see that these users here have been applied to the platform um, via the integration. You can tell that by the synchronization logo that appears next to the name of the employees, which have appeared here as part of the synchronization.